few months ago I uploaded a video about a new phone case I got which is this one from Totally and I express about this I say it's a problem but I, I I really haven't done much about it to solve it and it's that I have an obsession with phone cases with all the iPhones I've had I've always had multiple cases some of them justified some of them not so much this was one that I have bought uh, several months ago I ended up doing the video about two months after I got the case because I just put it aside to be honest and my first impression which is still kind of the impression I have for it it's a very slim case it's not worth the original MSRP of $35. I got this for $5. Totally tens have been doing these sales more often and not to undermine the price of their product, but $35 for a, for a slim case, this slim, that doesn't protect the screen at all. But also that, but that is also very smart from them because they sell a screen protector that I believe covers the entire screen. So it's one of those full screen protectors that normally on a case from like someone by Tech 21 or Autobox wouldn't necessarily fit properly, but doesn't have any type of drop protection. Like this is a very slim case inside. And it's that slim profile that at first I was like, mm. and for the last probably month and a half, this has been my go-to case. I've ignored my Tech 21, I've, I've ignored my other cases, and I have been using this overall. And it doesn't offer any protection, so I have to be just as careful as if I didn't have a case on it. But there's an illusion of protection when, when using this. So what did I do recently? I bought another case from Totally. It was on sale also. And it was red, which I'm very curious to see how it looks, because I have the green color for the iPhone Pro. Yeah, the iPhone Pro Max, this color. So I'm very interested to see how this green goes with the red. I'm hoping it's not too, oops. I'm hoping it's not too Christmassy, but we'll see about that. Let's transition into opening the package. All right, so to to totally packaging, it's pretty cool. They're pretty nice in that sense, I always, I've had the opportunity to buy a couple of their products already. So at this point, um, I believe this is the fourth product I bought for th that I have bought from them. Um, this is the third one that is for me. The other, I believe number t number three was this one. Number two was a leather case for the for the iPhone. 11 because Apple doesn't make a, le a leather case for that one and that one I can say that it's worth the money if you are comparing it to the Apple leather case it really doesn't the only thing it doesn't have is the Apple clicky buttons to it all right let's open this thing here oh look at that that's a nice looking red actually oh and it's kind and it's see-through so let me compare it to the black one it, I think the black one, no, so the black one is an all black. I think they have one that that is a bit more uh, smoke black. But yeah, this is a lot like their other thin cases that are very, well, not very see-through, but they have a, they have a see-through style to them. Let's see how it looks on the phone. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully it's not too Christmassy. You know what? That doesn't look bad. That doesn't look bad at all. And the style is exactly the same as the black one. It's it's their thin case, so it's a thin profile case. Like I mentioned, no lip protection. So unlike the Apple case, um, actually, let me get you the Apple case real quick. So unlike the Apple case, I mean, actually, if you have an Apple case, then you know what I'm talking about. But if you don't, to give you an idea. I've been a fan of the Apple brand cases since the iPhone 7. Wow, let me give it let me give it a wipe down. So if you see, the Apple case has enough lip. It might be a nitpick, but this lip is just enough so you can place the phone face down. 
and the screen doesn't touch the surface if it's a flat surface of course if it's a rocky surface then yeah it's, it's gonna touch it but on the um, on the totally side the red case is exactly the same like the black case which is just that i like the color i can't put the phone face down you see how careful i have to try and put it down because even though i know that it's a strong uh, glass I I still don't want to have to put a screen protector because I, I love using my iPhones without a screen protector on them I still have oh, one, one complaint that I don't know if I mentioned before that I learned while using the black totally thin case is that the buttons are very flush well not the buttons but the casing is flush with the button so that means you kind of you don't have a really good sense of the button until you until you actually press it in comparison again to the Apple case something that they got right since the iPhone 7 that's why I got into it the Apple branded case have these really nice clicky buttons on the side for the power and the volume and the rocker and the I mean and the and the silencer essentially easy uh, to access with the Apple brand case with the totally case it's 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 a weird feeling like you don't find it that naturally sometimes you can press it easily but if you're just trying to silence it in your pocket like if you're going going into an office or or into a meeting it's not as easy to silence it just on the fly but again, for five dollars, I don't mind. It actually, and, and maybe it's the lighting. It doesn't. It doesn't look that red to me. Looks a little bit more of a burgundy type of color, and it doesn't look bad with the green um, camera module from the Pro Max here. So I will probably be using this for a while now. I talked about the price at the beginning of this um, and it's it's still hard for me to justify to totally MSRP price for these type of cases when the Apple first party case the leather goes for about 45 or 50 sometimes you can get them on sale through Best Buy it's not a great sale but it's the only type of discount you can find on an Apple brand case uh, this when I got it I was I still had access to my Best Buy employee pricing, so I didn't pay the regular $50, but the discount price wasn't that great. If I'll be honest, it was like less than $10. That's that's how much of a discount we, we will get on, on Apple accessories, first party ones. So this is still one of my favorite cases of all the ones I have, and I have a Tech 21 clear case. I have an Insignia also, which is starting to yellow out a little bit in, in the corners, but not so much. But the focus in this video is totally and their red case, which I like it. I, I, I'll probably use it for a while. Um, and for the price, I, I don't want to complain too much because I got it for $5 plus shipping. It was less than $12 in total. If you're going to buy a totally case full price because it's not on sale, try and go for their leather cases. Their leather cases are just as good as the Apple ones. They have the same suede insert. They just don't have the Apple logo on it. But even the button layout is exactly the same. And they're a little bit cheaper MSRP wise in, com in comparison to Apple. That's if you want to go for a leather case for an iPhone 11. If you have an 11 Pro or Pro Max, you can get the Apple one. But anyways, at this point, I'm rambling. Thank you for stopping by and looking at the totally uh, thin case in red. It's not as Christmassy yet as I thought, which is good because as of recording, this is the beginning of July and it's nowhere near Christmas. Granted, I live in Puerto Rico, which is summer all year long. So even when it's dead on Christmas, it's just as hot in Christmas as it is in June. It's tropical weather, so what else can we do about it? All right, you all have a, a fantastic day, wherever you are, same equivalent, be kind to each other, be human, and overall, be freaking cool. Bye.